What's going on guys? So you are in for a treat today. So I am currently driving through San Antonio with my good buddy Brian. You've seen him in a lot of the videos I've had. We are on our way to an area right outside of San Antonio, Texas, where we are going to do a collaboration with another YouTuber. Now, clumping my channel in the same category as this YouTuber really isn't fair because this channel that we're going to visit is multiple times bigger than my channel and he has a huge viewing audience. But what we're collaborating on today is something that my channel is pretty specific about and that is trailers and towing. And we got together because he needs a trailer for his channel and I wanted to make sure that he got the right trailer, that he got it specced out properly and that it wouldn't be either too heavy, too long, or would be overkill for his truck. And his truck, which is a Ram Cummins, is going to be equipped properly to safely tow the trailer. All right, guys, so we finally made it out to our destination here in San Antonio. I'm actually coming here to meet a buddy of mine who likes to do all sorts of cool things on his channel. Come around the corner. What the heck are you doing, man? Oh, hey, JD. I'm just fixing the fan with this crescent wrench. Again? Yeah, it breaks a lot. <laughs> Well, you found the right tool for it. Guys, you probably don't need me to introduce who's in front of you. This is Matt with a really small up-and-coming YouTube channel. He's trying to grow it. Hopefully so it'll grow. Yeah, hopefully you get some subscribers to come over, maybe <laughs> one or two. But, uh, of course, he is the producer of Demolition Ranch as well as Off the Ranch as well as Vet Ranch. That's Anything all my else? ranches. That's all your ranches. Yep. And he likes to blow stuff up. That is true. So, anyways, guys, we have a really cool video in store for you. Hang tight. Be right back. All right, Matt, so I came bearing gifts because I know you're all about military memorabilia, firearms, everything, and I have something I don't think you have. So I texted you, and we talked about swords, mm -hmm. and you said you have a couple katanas, I, I think. I do, yeah. So That's what I don't it. think you have are some genuine, I believe these are Air Force-issued swords. What happened? You have to be special <laughs> Yes, you do. I think I, I think I had a lock. It turns and locks. Oh, does it? I, I didn't even know. So these are authentic ceremonial swords, military-issued ceremonial swords. I don't know if it's a crime to own them if you're not in the military, <laughs> but Super cool. imagine defending your castle with that. Made in Spain. Those are super cool, aren't they? Yeah, really neat. They're not sharp at all, but how you could probably old, fix how old that. You think? Any idea? My theory is they're probably pushing about 20 or 30 years. They're probably not that old. They could be much older. These things could actually be worth millions. I just don't know it. It's so nice of you to give me these if they're worth millions. <laughs> I appreciate it. Maybe if I'll I collect find out a commission. If they are worth millions, do I have to give them back? No, just give me the money and then you can keep them. Terrible deal. Terrible deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you enjoy them. I hope Thanks. you find something to do with them. I appreciate it, JD. I would love to see in the news that Matt defends his palace. Yeah, you know, I I had a better weapon, but I chose this one. <laughs> yeah, out of everything I had, that is your new concealed carry. Perfect. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to move on and show you what the big project today is. Okay, so Matt is repositioning the Ram in front of his brand new Texas Pride gooseneck dump trailer. Let's take a look at that hitch ball because I have a feeling it's in dire need of some white lithium grease. I have no idea how to do this. I wouldn't recommend backing up too far yet. It needs a lot higher? Yeah, it needs to go quite a bit higher. First of all, you need to grease your ball. Yeah, that's what she said. That is 
That is a very rusty. Yeah, that hole. is. I mean, I don't know that it has ever been used to haul a gooseneck. I wonder. I am really interested to see how you grease your ball. <laughs> I just do a little bit like that on the tip. How much? Uh, how much grease do I need on this? I actually, I have no idea how to do that. That should be enough, actually. Do I need to rub it in? Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. Hey, you're, you're becoming more acquainted with your, Meet with your truck. first day and have to do weird stuff. All right. That's good. There we go. I grease my ball for you. Okay, and second step. I feel compelled to have you do all this so you know how to do this later. I think that's a good call. You don't leave me and I'm like, oh, I don't know how to unhook it or hook it. So the story behind this trailer is that I recently got my Texas Pride trailer synced up with Matt because I knew he was looking for a trailer because he's got all of that stuff and told him what I got mine specced out, how I got it done, how it was built, the upgrades I got, and wanted to see if maybe I should get him in touch with the right person. You're doing it. It's slow. I can't which way I was going. It's, yeah, you're going the right way. Am I? Yep. Yeah, it is a little slow though. It's a bit slow. So here is your new gym routine. Uh, uh, I got this. <laughs> it's going. It's because we had to get it off that little bitty Ford. Put it on this big real man's truck. Let's just call your tires real man's tires. <laughs> Still need to go way more, huh? <laughs> yeah, Dang a bit it. more. <laughs> Don't you have people for this? Yeah, man. Where's the drill? <laughs> So while he's doing that, because it's going to take a little while, Gooseneck Trailer. Trailer is a 20,000 pound built trailer. This thing is derated to 16,000 pounds. Got the 9,000 pound axles, Alcoa aluminum wheels, 18 ply tires. Has the flanged side so you get a lot more cargo space. Tarping system, solar panel to charge the dual deep cycle batteries. Has the wireless remote to lift the thing up. Has a corded remote as a backup spreader gate and this thing is super customized come back slowly and ooh. oh you're you're way off you need to move the butt of your truck to the There we go. Can I put it straight with the trailer? Nope. This will work? This will work. Perk of a gooseneck, you can turn sharper. I want to see if you can line it up first try. Well, second try. Stop! Oh. E-brake. Pull up a hair and then hit your e-brake. You're good right there. Now this is... Alright, that actually is pretty good. Yeah, you did a good job. I like it. Okay. Alright, now reverse of what you were doing. Now the, uh, the other workout. <sighs> Man, I went way too high with it. <laughs> is there an easier way to do this? There it kind of is, yeah. Pull that out of here. There you go. And then you can do this weird thing where you stand right here uh -huh. and kind of use both hands. Yeah, there you uh, go. Yeah. I guess I probably could have shared that with you. <laughs> I was like, this got to be an easier way. <laughs> We're close. Let's see if the grease helps. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. There we go. Oh, and it's on. Felt the drop. Look how cool it looks. That is awesome. What do you think of your new trailer? I love it. I love everything about it. I was like thinking about just getting like a, a bumper pull, but then I was like, we need a gooseneck. Yeah, you sure. got the hitch for it. All right, what do I do now? Now, this is on a spring, oh, so, so you, you can pull that out and pull it. Kick it up. You don't even need to kick it up. It's just going to come springing oh, up. Oh, really? Yep. Dang, that's cool. Yeah. 
And it does it in a nice, manly, loud fashion. It's very manly and loud. So now you need to couple up and lock. So pull that little handle, it'll spring down. Pull this? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Please go. Just loop them around there. Down there? Yep. Cool. I'm kind of jealous, man. You got a gooseneck. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, you don't have a gooseneck. I do don't you? have a gooseneck. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... Real man got goosenecks. Yeah. So. We'll cut that out. <laughs> Plenty of uh, wine to make this work. Yep. That was great. It's like it was made for your truck. Yeah. It worked out. We're good. We did it. We did it. Again, guys, the reason you want to deal with a company like Texas Pride is that they really take a lot of pride in their work. I mean, you look at the welds, you look at how this trailer was built and overbuilt for his specific need. If he went to a trailer dealership, the problem is he's going to have to pick whatever they have on their lot. None of them are going to be overrated. None of them are, I guess what you call derated. None of them are going to have some of the upgrades that he opted for, and they'll probably have to special order it. This one comes straight from the factory, man. You got a hell of a trailer. You know what I'm sad about, those? The trailer's so nice and shiny, it makes my truck look like crap. <laughs> No, no. How long is it going to look like uh, that? I'm going to beat this thing up fast. Hopefully. That looks cool, it man. It goes according to plan. And uh, JD, we'll get you uh, helping me get this pile of rocks put in that trailer, okay? One rock at a time. Is that cool? Let's knock it out, brother. Sweet. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and subscribe to, to channel. his subscribe channel. channel right yeah, I want to get his channel to blow up. I'm let's, trying to get him over 1,000 subscribers. We're trying to get him there. He's almost there. Someday. But check out this. If you haven't watched his series on Renovation Ranch, you really need to tune in because, first of all, it didn't look like this when he got it. And then he made it look like this in the process of tearing it apart. And maybe he'll let me walk through it a little bit and film some of the remodeling. It's almost done, actually. He's about 95% of the way done. We're about to move in. Yeah, we're about to move in. This is what you call an open-air floor plan. <laughs> he did a great job. I love how the bedroom... Or Where's the bedroom? Uh, you don't want to really sleep in this house. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so here's my official walkthrough of the Renovation Ranch project. This is Matt from Demolition Ranch. This is his project, actually off the ranch. This is crazy, because when I came up here, the ride up here is pretty amazing, and there's no way to really capture how high up you are. But when he said you can truly see the house on the top of the hill, you really can. This is such a beautiful view. Simply looks amazing out here. A lot of work though. You know, when you take on a project like this, you kind of expect it to be a lot of work, but man, just coming up here and seeing the actual scope of this project and what he has to do, it's eye opening. And he's doing a lot of it himself. He's got some friends helping him, but this project is definitely a very, very in depth, in depth project. Very cool. You can see the roof up here. Such a cool, cool house. But man, to have that view is amazing. Elevation back here, I'm guessing we're probably at least 300, 400 feet up. Probably more than that. Because you can see those high wire towers down there, and we're probably twice as high as they are. This is very cool. Yeah, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you want to see another collaboration, and we'll talk to you again very soon.